Hi folks, that's from HighlandAndroid.com where we get on Android every day. Uh, anyway, I've got a quick ROM overview for those of you with the Sprint Galaxy S5. Uh, this is the latest small ROM. I really like it. Um, it is really, really fast, first of all. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the about page here. And this is based on the latest Sprint Lollipop uh, firmware. Um, so we get the latest Android 5.0, as you can see there. Uh, and it does come with K-Tweaker kernel, or you can install a uh, stock kernel, but I do recommend the K-Tweaker kernel. Uh, for K-Tweaker, I do recommend setting uh, the overclock voltage, sorry, not voltage, the frequency to 2.841. Make sure you hit enable OC steps. Um, set it to 2.841. If you go, you can go a little bit higher, but uh, it gets a little bit unstable. That's what I recommend. And also, if you want it, set it on boot. So when you reboot it, I will overclock, automatic overclock. You can set this to, I recommend 30 seconds. Um, that way, if you actually set it, uh, overclock it too much and your phone starts rebooting, that way you have 30 seconds to get back into K-Tweaker and um, adjust that. As far as voltage, I didn't actually have to mess with much. Um, so 2.841. Uh, it is my recommended. Um, and uh, let me go ahead and show you some of the other stuff here. Uh, the coolest part about this ROM is that, oh, it is really fast. And also, Aroma install, you do have the option of installing the 5, 4x5 or 5x4, I think, uh, the launcher. So you can put more apps. So that is really nice. And the TouchWiz launcher itself, it's super fast. You'll not see any lag. I mean, with Lollipop overclocking, and a custom ROM uh, with a modded TouchWiz launcher such as this. Uh, you don't need to go USB, it is super fast. Also, it does come with more ROM, more mod control, uh, where you can go ahead and customize uh, your phone to your liking. Let's actually do this, some of this together, status bar clock options. I actually like to put it in the center, put the center. Uh, if you want to um, show the day, uh, it is today is Sunday. And also, of course, you can go ahead and change the color if you want to. And you may have to turn the alpha off, I think. There we go. And let's go into backgrounds. You can actually use a status bar image if you want to. All right. And there's also a bunch of custom made bars. Let's try this Aurora. Make sure you hit grant. All right. And actually, you know what? Let's try this green grass here. And I think you may have to reboot um, to make this actually come out. All right. And let's go into battery icon settings. You can, of course, use the three minute battery settings here. Uh, customize your battery if you want to. Let's make it all green, nice and green here. Uh, max signal levels, traffic meter. Um, I will let you play with all of them, but uh, there's a ton of stuff you can do uh, with status bar. Notification panel, uh, backgrounds, colors, you can change. This ROM is great, more ROM. I first used it with the Sprint S3. One of the coolest things about it was that you could change pretty much every color on it, um, pretty much make your own theme with it. So uh, it is really nice. Sounds and notification, music control, you can see there is just a ton of stuff. I mean, I can't, I just can't go over all of them. Uh, also, you can add call recording buttons, native call recording. Um, here we go. More in-call mods, as you can see there. I'll let you mess with that. I don't even know some of these things do. Uh, lock screen rotation is nice. You know why? <laughs> ah. You know why they um, Samsung doesn't actually include it? I mean, this should be like. Uh oh, why is that rotating? Uh, it will rotate. You may have to reboot again. Some of these options, you may have to reboot. Uh, let's actually try this, restart options. Nope. Um, I'll reboot it here in a second and we'll look at all of them here. Phone mods, lock screen options, touch with launcher. You can also enable uh, wallpaper scrolling, launcher rotation. Oh, that's nice actually, that, that should work out of the box. Is it working? Okay, let's actually reboot real quick and see if those changes actually came about. Oh, you see that uh, the, the status bar finally acted. And I'll show you uh, also the boot up screen and how fast it boots. So about one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the boot up animation. Nine, 10, 11, 
12, 13, 14, 14 seconds, about 15 seconds. All right, now everything should be enabled. So if you don't see it right away, just go ahead and reboot. And you can see that now the lock screen rotation works. My gradient of the status bar color has changed. Also my, my launcher now can go sideways. So all these options, sometimes you may have to reboot uh, or there is sometimes option to just restart that UI. I think it's somewhere in here. If you find that you can use that also. All right, general mods. I think we went over most of this uh, flashlight screen recording, uh, which I really like. Also screenshot. Um, so that way you have all these options, Adam, native screen recording, which is really nice. You know, those third party recorder apps kind of suck. They just kind of die sometimes. I don't like it, but the native uh, ones are a lot better. I think uh, buttons and display. You can go ahead and customize your buttons, home button. Uh, let's say you want, oh, there's even triple tap. That's actually a new one. Let's set triple tap to, um, to that. And what I'm gonna do is tap it three times real quick. One, two, three. And boom shakalaka. Uh, so you can actually use um, just a single tap, double tap, long press, and triple tap. That's four different settings you can just set with one button. But you can do it with all the diff different buttons, which is, which is the highlight. I mean, which is really cool with this ROM. Um, so more ROM just brings everything that you want to do with, uh, uh, with your phone. So it, it is awesome. Just install it. You will love it. I mean, apart from everything, even if you don't use any of these options, it is fast. The K tweaker kernel is great. Uh, the ROM developer, when he made it, just, uh, you know, chose all the right stuff. Here's more stuff you can do. Anyway, I'm going to end it there and let you play with it. All the hidden features and, you know, it is just super fast. You can see like just switching between apps and, you know, whatnot is a lot faster. I mean, it's just instant. So really like it. Also, I was getting about 45,000 on Antutu. I mean, which is all right. It's not the best. Uh, I think you could do better, but uh, at 2.8 gigahertz uh, with all these mods, you know, be able to turn on my flashlight, triple button, all that good stuff. I mean, you can't beat this. So definitely check it out. This is one ROM you can install. Um, if you're already on Lollipop uh, stock, you can go ahead and install it. If you don't have Lollipop um, yet on your Sprint S5, make sure you install the bootloader or the easiest way is just a flashy stock firmware, use Odin, and then reflash a clock my recovery or Torb recovery via Odin and then install the ROM. So that's pretty much it. But love this ROM. Do let me know what you think. Sorry, it's getting kind of long. And thanks guys for watching this video. This is my second YouTube channel covering the ROMs and my extra videos. If you want to see my main videos, go ahead and subscribe uh, to my main channel over at Zetomex, uh, where I cover stuff like the Nexus 6, the Note Edge, uh, Note 4, and all of the latest Android gadgets. And I'll see you guys soon. As always, stay on Android.